As described by Wikipedia, a nerd is someone who passionately pursues intellectual activities. You know, I think Nerd Night is a very, it's a friendly atmosphere where people are not afraid to really showcase their eccentricities. As a neuroscientist, you have to present your work all the time, but I haven't had many opportunities to present it to a public audience for fun, which is something I'm really looking forward to tonight. Let's look at some data, which is actually my most favorite thing about science. People are responding in a distribution pattern, such that on one side, they kind of look more like psychopaths. On the other side, they look more like anxiety patients. Does this mean that you're a psychopath or an anxiety patient? I mean, probably not. To be around people who have such specialized knowledge and to ask them questions is really awesome. And if you add beer to it, it's even better. It's a huge variety of topics from all the different nerd nights we've had so far. They're tall and conic. When you think of a, of a volcano, you're probably picturing a strata volcano. You cannot stop them, you cannot get around them, they're there, they're erupting. They're just fascinating. When it erupted, it was so huge that it caused a worldwide climate interruption. A uh, global cooling effect set in for the next 10 to 20 years. And this is a really nice way to just get a, a quick but deep overview of these fantastically diverse topics you wouldn't hear about otherwise. It is powerfully addictive. It combines the desire to master the unmasterable and challenge the outer limits of your brain with the primal desire to destroy your opponent. <laughs> Until Trivial Pursuit, it was the greatest success story in the history of the American games industry. Weistiti, O-U-I-S-T-I-T-I, Eolopile, Abwato, Oatnake, You Damon, and I always remember that one as You Demon. <laughs> It was great being in a room full of nerds. That's yeah, what I have really to say. Cool. It was nice to be part of the posse. You don't typically go to a bar and listen to like offbeaten topics. And then she walks up and she's right in front of him, exposing her sexy thorax. <laughs> you know what comes next. He then backs up under her and he inserts this into her genital tract. And then she bends over and she munches on it for a while while the sperm <laughs> is going into her. Nerds, nerds, nerds. I love music in general and I think music adds a lot to nerds. Nerds, nerds, nerds. I think music is a really great touch, you know, it gives you uh, a good break between the presentations. We have the very lovely and the talented The Torches. <laughs> I think that a lot of people are craving a venue like this. I'll recommend it to friends as well. It was a lot of fun. I would definitely recommend Nerd Night to friends. Yeah. I can't wait for the next one. I think that Nerd Night is a, is a wonderful thing, and I'm so glad it's in DC now. So again, everyone, thank you so much for coming. We hope you enjoyed it. We love having you here. Oh, I didn't even get into super volcanoes. Thank you folks, now more nerds.